Unmasking the Cyber Wreckers A Critical Examination of Extortion Allegations in the YouTube Community In a labyrinthine web of allegations and denials, the YouTube community finds itself embroiled in controversy as several prominent figures, dubbed Cyber Wreckers, stand accused of attempting to extort money from the well-known YouTuber and broadcaster Tsuyang. The central figure among the accused, Caracula, has publicly declared his frustration and determination to fight the allegations, stating, I won't go down like this. On July 10, the Gorosero Research Institute channel released an explosive recorded conversation involving YouTubers Caracula, Giujae Yoke, and Jeongukjin, collectively known as the Wrecker Union. The channel alleged that these individuals tried to extort Suyang by leveraging potentially damaging information about her past. Su Yang, with a subscriber base of 10.1 million and a presence on numerous variety shows, is a significant figure in the online community, making these allegations particularly sensational. In response to the released recording, Caracula took to his channel's community page on July 11, vehemently denying the accusations. He proclaimed, I've been made out to be a scoundrel who accepted bribes through private sanctions, and emphatically stated, I swear on my two sons that I've never accepted any illicit money as a YouTuber. Given the gravity of the allegations, Caracula announced a temporary suspension of his regular content to focus on producing rebuttal materials and clarification videos. Despite Caracula's denials, the public reaction has been largely critical. Comments condemning him for behaviors perceived as inconsistent with his channel's purpose flooded in, prompting him to post on social media. I won't go down like this. For whose benefit? This statement underscores his intent to vigorously defend himself against the accusations. Complicating the narrative further, Su Yang took to her channel to make a harrowing revelation. In a live broadcast, she admitted to being assaulted and exploited by her ex-boyfriend over the past four years. This admission adds a layer of personal trauma to the already complex situation highlighting a disturbing pattern of abuse and exploitation that extends beyond the online sphere. In a decisive move, Su Yang's legal representative announced that a criminal complaint had been filed against her, citing multiple serious charges, including assault, intimidation, injury, extortion, coercion, and violations of the Sexual Violence Punishment Act. Although a punishment of more than five years of imprisonment was anticipated, the case took a tragic turn when the former agency CEO took his own life, leading to the case being closed with a decision of no right to prosecute. This unfolding drama within the YouTube community reveals several critical issues. The allegations against the Wrecker Union suggest a troubling dynamic where influential YouTubers might exploit their platform to intimidate and extort others. This raises significant ethical questions about the responsibilities of content creators and the potential for abuse of power within the online community. Caracula's swift denial and the strategic suspension of his regular content highlight the importance of reputation management in the digital age. While his declarations of innocence are emphatic, the court of public opinion often operates independently of legal outcomes, and the damage to his reputation may be challenging to repair. Su Yang's legal actions underscore the serious legal implications of the allegations. The charges filed against her ex-boyfriend are severe and indicate a prolonged period of abuse. The closure of the case due to the ex-agency CEO's suicide complicates the pursuit of justice, raising questions about the efficacy of legal recourse in cases complicated by personal tragedies. This controversy has broader implications for the YouTube community. It exposes vulnerabilities within the community where personal vendettas and power plays can disrupt the lives and careers of content creators. The situation calls for reflection on the need for better regulatory measures and support systems to protect creators from exploitation and abuse. The role of channels like the Gorosero Research Institute in bringing these issues to light is a double-edged sword. While investigative journalism can uncover important truths, it also runs the risk of trial by media, where accusations can lead to public condemnation before due process is observed. 
The allegations of extortion against the Rekka Union and the subsequent revelations by Tsuyang paint a complex picture of the challenges and ethical dilemmas within the YouTube community. As Caracula and others navigate the fallout from these allegations, the situation underscores the need for a more robust framework to address and mitigate such conflicts within the digital content creation space. Moving forward, the community must grapple with these critical issues, striving for a balance between transparency, accountability, and the protection of individual rights. This episode serves as a stark reminder of the power dynamics at play in the digital age and the ongoing struggle for integrity and justice in the rapidly evolving world of online media.